Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl from Earl Sports Bets and Picks and Parlays. Welcome back to another edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. We got NBA playoffs. We'll be going over all four games for you guys. No baseball today, just NBA playoffs. So all the games that are on day one, Brooklyn, Philly, Atlanta, Boston, New York, Cleveland, and Golden State, Sacramento. Uh, I'm going to put it out there. It's, it's finally out. Bam. If you guys want the baseball plays, we're currently, I believe, up four units to start the year in baseball. So we're we're doing pretty solid to start the year, even with, and this is what I love to see, um, even with a 70 and 75 record. So we're five games under 500 so far. We're up 4.1 units uh, in baseball. Welcome to betting plus money. Welcome to betting dogs. We hit a bunch. Go ahead, check that out. Week pass. $70 for all of our MLB plays. We have it for the NBA, but I go over all the NBA games anyway. So I recommend the baseball one. Lots of plays over there, about eh, 60, 70 plays a week. Jump on it. Nets and the Sixers will be going at it. The Sixers are eight and a half point favorites. 214 and a half is the total. This is where we're starting. Nets got that 60. They built a big enough lead up for the rest of the, uh, for the, when they lost Kyrie and Kevin Durant. So this is not the same team that is the eight games over 500. Uh, Although this is a Nets team that can be very scrappy and they have nothing to lose, uh, I don't think this game's going to be close. Although I am not laying with uh, Philly, I think this one goes under the total. Uh, I think this is your, I don't know, 100 to 88 type of game, 100 to 101 to 96. I don't think it's a high scoring game. Um, I think this one could be a blowout or it could be, I, I don't really like a side either. Uh, I just like the total. I think it's going to be a lower scoring Eastern conference playoff game. Go ahead. Give me the under 214. Atlanta and uh, Boston are going to be going at it. That's a 330 game. Boston's nine point favorite at home. 230 and a half is the total. And uh, speaking about teams that got nothing to lose um, is Atlanta. Uh, I like the Hawks. I think the Hawks have a chance to win this one outright. Uh, and I will be taking the Hawks plus 660 to win the series. Um, I th- It's just too much value for me there. I don't think that any team should be that big of a favorite, maybe besides Philly and then whatever bro- uh, whatever Milwaukee is. I think they probably deserve it. I don't know. Uh, Atlanta, we've seen them be a little bit scrappy. They got a coach that's trying to you know, win back and win a job. I mean, he's – already made himself into the playoffs. I think this is a competitive series. Hawks plus nine in this one. Knicks and the Cavs. Uh, Cavs are five and a half point favorites, 215. This is the six o'clock game. And uh, I like this one. <sighs> this Cleveland team. I do like this Cleveland team. And the Knicks, I believe, are one piece off of being able to make a deep run. I think Cleveland wins the series in like six. Uh, I'll take them minus five and a half at home. They are 31 and 10 at home this year. 24 and 16 and one against the spread. So this is a team that I trust at home, especially to cover spread. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Cleveland minus the five and a half in that one. Final game. And this one's got to be my, my favorite series in all of the playoffs. And I'm on the side that everybody's against. Uh, and I love to see it. Warriors are one point favorites against the Kings. 238 and a half is the total. And I see everybody, everybody loves the Warriors. Warriors, Warriors this, Warriors that. No. Give me the Kings. I think Kings win this series in six. Um, I, this is a Kings team that has got nothing to lose. They made the playoffs for the first time in, what, they broke the longest streaks. I think it was like, what, 20 years, 18 years, something like that. First time in the playoffs in a long time for them. Give me them in game one at home. The Warriors – we're 11 and 30 on the road. They're not just turning it on in the playoffs. I don't think that happens. Kings money line. I think the Kings take the first two at home. Uh, I'm grabbing a pick on price with them. Give me the Kings in this one. Those are your four NBA game ones. There will be another set of four games. Obviously, we're still waiting for two of the matchups because Milwaukee and Denver still need to find their opponents. But uh, we'll be going over those tomorrow. Um but we got a lot of stuff going. Uh, once again, a little bit of a recap. We're going to take the under in the Philly game. I'm going to take the Hawks. I'm going to take the Cavs. And I'm taking the Kings. Once again, if you guys are interested in grabbing all the plays, I recommend the baseball pass. 60 to 70 plays a, a week. Week pass, $70. We're up 
four units already, even though we're 70 and, uh, 70 and 75, five games under, up four units in the MLB. Jump on it now, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim if you're interested in that. That's going to do it for this edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. I want to thank you guys all for watching. And until next time, let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in the NBA. Good luck, guys.